House of Blues with the lead singer here of 69 Eyes. How are you? I'm good. I'm pretty good. And uh, we just played uh, probably one of the best shows on this tour by far. This was like the fifth show on the row. Uh, tomorrow we're driving to Denver, so I mean, I'll be sleeping in my... Uh, uh, you know, mobile coffee and all day. So oh, it's time to party a little bit after this. I had a terrible hangover, but when you, when you, yeah, it, it's, it goes away when you have a show. Actually, oh. the strange thing is like, if you are having a hangover, mm -hmm. the show is actually many times, it turns out to be the best show. I don't yeah. know, it, it's, it's, you Very have good. to suffer, you know, no pain, no gain. Of course, of course. Yeah. Hey, okay, how did you guys come up with the name 69 Eyes? Is there any meaning behind this? Uh, well, I read some interview, um, you know, to come to this question, I read some interview uh, mm -hmm. of Andrew Eldridge from uh -huh. Sisters of Mercy, and he said that every band is always asked about how did you come up with the name, you know, of whatever course, band. And, and no band can really actually, uh, most likely, uh, you know, explain that. Oh. So it's in, in, in this, this is mm -hmm. the same thing, you know, I, uh, it sounds good, it looks good, uh, it, it, it can be like, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, some sleazoid movie title, mm -hmm. it can be a science fiction movie, you know, okay. from the 50s, okay. or it can mean, you know, like, some weird sex. Yes. You know, a lot of <laughs> connotations, I mean, depends how dirty mind you have, and, <laughs> yeah. you know, what the 69 eyes means to you. But basically, it's been a synonym for uh, sex, blood, and rock and roll, nice. also known <laughs> as... Uh, you know, vampire rock and roll from Helsinki, last 18 years. And um, how many releases do you currently have out? Uh, we have a new album out, which is called Angels, and that's our eighth studio album. Okay. We have some compilations and stuff, but uh, eight studio albums, and Angels is the latest one. Okay, and now uh, what would be your musical influences? Well, you know, it's obvious when you, um, you know, um, the obvious ones like Dead Boys, the Iggy and the Stooges, mm -hmm. uh, Alice Cooper, things like that. And of course, uh, you know, some darker stuff like the Cult, Sisters of Mercy. Of course. Elvis, yes. The Doors, yeah, a little uh, bit of everything. Danzig, everything what that Mr. Glenn Danzig does. You know. Okay, of course. You know, a lot of stuff. A lot of different things. Yeah. And uh, what can an audience exper like expect to hear from, expect from your band when they come to see you? What kind of show? Well, they, I think, you know, uh, what we are trying to do is something like, um, like to um, have a show or, or like a wipe or like um, Feast of Friends kind of thing that hasn't been around for a while. Yes. You know, rock and roll, you know, is sort of like, um, sometimes, you know, some elements have been long forgotten, but we want to have that excitement back. You know, mm -hmm. same thing when I, was a kid and I went to see some uh, bands like Lords of the New Church or something like that in the 80s. Uh, I'm really old. <laughs> so, uh, you know, when I, I, I went to see Lords say, of the New Church uh, at 85 and, and I was like waiting them to come on the stage and I had like strange feeling in my stomach and mm. like, all this excitement and then I couldn't believe that they were there and, you know, I saw them on the stage. So we just want to, you know, this kind of like excitement, maybe a little bit danger, and of course, like, uh, you know, it's a great pla place also, well, I mean, the majority of our audience is, of course, girls, mm -hmm. but it's, it's also a great place to find a girl for a guy. You know. Like, your, your newest album, like, yeah. what would you like to tell them about it? Uh, well, you know, it's like, of course, the best record we're ever done. Uh, it, it sums up the whole history of the 69 Eyes as well. I mean, uh, if, if you're familiar with our old stuff, it has like, you know, our, our roots and, and, and like early days were pretty glammy, yes. you know, since we started like actually 89 mm -hmm. or, or, or like the very last days anyway. So, you know, uh, it has glam rock, it has rock and roll, it has like goth, you know, Little even gospel, everything, ev buzz, everything buzz, you know, yeah. yeah. So it's like, um, it's, it's a great record and, and just like, uh, you know, it has all these elements and, and of course shows that we have paid our dues as okay. well. And what would you say to aspiring musicians who want to be where you are today? Uh, it's a long way. 
and it's it, but it's it's not definitely uh, always like hard way mm -hmm. and the best thing like why for instance the 69 ice has been going so long is because like and you know with the same guys ever since the beginning because yeah. we are just friends we're having fucking good time all over That's the great. world That's great. and you know we're still excited of like uh, of like uh, you know meeting our favorite musicians and you know, playing at the festivals with them we're just basically like still fans and and I and, and still, I, I'm really proud to tell, I, I mean, this is one of the things which is now uh, often forgotten, that, um, you know, we, we start, I, I, I wanted to be in the band because I wanted, you know, get girls. Yeah. You know, so, <laughs> I mean, ever since the beginning of rock and roll, you know, um, like the motivation is a girl, girl. or a woman <laughs> or, you know, what I mean. You know, if you think of like early days of, you know, f first, days of rock and roll like what Elvis was doing mm -hmm. you know like uh, the songs were for girls about the girls and you know like everything so I want there to be and that's one of the secrets of the Six and Ice that there always been the same motivation behind like like the mm -hmm. primitive instinct like what we want to do and why not pay you know like um, you know there's who are based on like musicianship. Okay. The 16 okay. is more like based on adventures of five, you know, rockers. What do you want to say to your Rebel Access fans to close it up? Oh, hey there, vampires watching <laughs> Rebel Access TV. This is Jyrki from the 16 on Ice, your favorite Helsinki vampire. Stay tuned and are you ready to rock like that?